Today I'm gonna talk about, well, I'm gonna talk about decorating <laughs> and how that can strengthen a relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So please share your uh, salams and we'll begin with that. How can decorating strengthen a relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? <laughs> and I think it can really strengthen your relationship with Allah. So obviously not exaggerating in that. <laughs> uh, okay, walaikum as -salam. Zul uh, Zulfa from Cape Town, South Africa. Much love back to you. By, or how do we strengthen our relationship with Allah? By decorating. <clears throat> well, it depends on your intention for decorating. You know, when somebody gives you a gift... What do you do with it? You can take that gift and like, yeah, thank you very much. This is a wonderful gift. And you put it away. Does that make you happy? Just hearing that thank you, maybe. Yeah, that's good, right? It's better than not thanking at all. But what would make that person happier probably is seeing you actually use that gift, isn't it? When they see the effect of that. So, for example, you know, when somebody uh, gives you something to wear, uh, whether it's a piece of jewelry or you know, whether it's a piece of jewelry, a cloth or some gadget or whatever, the person gave it to you because they want you to benefit from it, right? They want to see you using it. So when they see, uh, and oftentimes we do that, you know, and uh, um, a relative gives you something, you wear it, you start using it. When you go to visit them, you wear that thing. Look, I'm wearing the thing that you gave me, right? So similarly, the gifts Allah gives you, he doesn't give it to you just so you say thank you and that's it, alhamdulillah, and that's it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to see you using those gifts, right? Appreciating those gifts. So uh, one of the gifts Allah has given us is a beautiful home that you live in, that many people in the world are not blessed with. Huge number of people in the world are not blessed with the home like yours, the one that you live in. That even sometimes maybe you feel, well, I wish I had, it had another room or, you know, I had a bigger bathroom or a bigger kitchen or whatever. That's many people in the world are not blessed with. What does Allah want to see from you? Only that you say, Alhamdulillah, you know, saying, of course, Alhamdulillah for that house is important. Using that gift, uh, of course, you know, to do uh, uh, to have uh, good gatherings in that home. Remembering Allah in that home, using that safety and the security of your home to do good, to re even to relax, you know, to do so you can do more good in the world. And one of the way we can show Allah appreciation for his gift, that how much I love this home you have given me, is by decorating it, isn't it? That I love this beautiful you have, gift you have given me. I'm going to put it, you know, I'm going to use it, decorate it, uh, it nicely. Instead of, yeah, it's there. Okay, fine. My house, I live in, I do work and I study here or I do kitchen. I have kitchen and live and sleep and eat and, you know, we live here and so on. But instead, you say, Allah, I'm blessed to have this house. You are decorating it. You're using it, you know, to out of, of your appreciation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in that way, even you're decorating because you appreciate this wall, this room, this bathroom that Allah has given you, even that can become rewarding. In fact, it can strengthen your connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you, the way you approach your kitchen, you approach your bathroom is it's a blessing. I've decorated it because it's a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you becoming more and more grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for it. So, you know, it's, it's very like if somebody gives you a gift, you take it and you're like, yeah, okay. And if, um, imagine somebody else gives you a gift, you take, wow, this is so wonderful, you know, and you treat it really well. That's what you're doing. You're treating it really well. This beautiful gift Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. So make that your intention. You're going to decorate anyways, most likely. 
<laughs> uh, so then change your intention inshallah so it's more rewarding as well that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards you for that um, anyways other thing um, you know I, I learned this from uh, Marie Kondo's <laughs> uh, I was once watching her uh, interview or TV show or something somewhere and I saw this beautiful thing she does uh, is before she starts like cleaning an area she sits in that area and she would thank uh, thank uh, be grateful for that I don't know who she's thanking but you know we, we know who we are thanking so and even the clothes she takes and she like you know touch it uh, and you know she would put it and she would say that remember that you know maybe the first time you got it that piece of cloth or that whatever you are folding so just remembering that how grateful you are to have that thing so I love that I love that you know just how that adds even your folding of clothes it makes it beneficial in much more to a much greater degree that it becomes about your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about you growing in gratitude than just uh, you know, folding of clothes <laughs> that we have to do multiple times a week. So, yeah, I hope you found that uh, beneficial. I found that very beneficial personally, and I don't like cleaning and <laughs> I don't even like decorating much. But this made me realize when I thought of it this way that, you know, when if I'm really grateful for my home, I would make it really beautiful out of my appreciation for Allah for giving me this home and of course it is as much as you know you don't go cra uh, you know, crazy in it that oh, I'll just buy everything I'm gonna make it really beautiful for Allah <laughs> you know if that's you know within our reach within what is uh, reasonable that uh, and we don't even have to oft often spend money on those and trying to decorate make things be creative and uh, decorate it for the sake of Allah Fold your clothes for the sake of Allah. Clean your bathroom for the sake of Allah. Th to thank Allah for giving you that beautiful home. And you know that Allah appreciates it. Allah appreciates your appreciation more than anybody ever will. Probably, I don't know, if anybody will come and say, Wow, your room looks really beautiful. Or, you know, Maybe nobody will ever recognize it. Your efforts, your cleaning, your beautifying your home. Maybe... You know, you think you are decorating it, but it doesn't look that beautiful. <laughs> that happens to me all the time. Uh, but Allah appreciates your effort, not your design skills. <laughs> Allah appreciates the effort you made, not your interior design skills and how great they were. But the fact that you tried to do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So remember that. That's what I think. Because <laughs> I'm not that good at all that stuff. So, Jazakallah Khair. I hope you found this beneficial. And if you did, let me know. And make sure that you share it with others.